In a recent video, I talked about how I felt that Fire and Blood would make a better prequel show than a show based around the Long Night and the Age of Heroes. However, like I said in that video, that does not mean I am not looking forward to a show based on the Long Night. I also talked about how the show is being written by Jane Goldman and is a working title of Blood Moon. In this video, I'm going to lay out everything we know so far and based on that, make some predictions along the way. The first thing I want to point out is I don't think the final show will have the name of Blood Moon, but for the sake of this video, that's what I will use for now. Now, based on the setting and a lot of the information coming up HBO, the show is set during the Age of Heroes and the Long Night and will feature what they call the Starks Legend, which I think means a figure like Bran the Builder. I think this also means that, of course, elements such as the White Walkers and the Children of the Forest are bound to play a key role. What's interesting here is I think we may get to see the founding of some of the great houses we know such as House Lannister and how Lan the Clever stole Casterly Rock from the Casterlies. We also know that HBO is keen on having a more diverse cast. Now looking past any political commentary on this which I want to try and avoid there is some information about the show we can extrapolate from this. When taking HBO's view into account and looking at the leaked casting calls it does very much seem that the show is not solely going to be in Westeros with casting suggesting characters from the Summer Isles and Essos. This is important as it shows they're going for a similar scale as the main show with stories spanning the whole world. What's interesting to note is there does seem to be a long night style event in the east and a warlike series of forts. HBO confirmed from the logline that the show will explore the mysteries of the East, so, so it does seem likely that we may see the Long Night come to Essos. So far looking at the cast, the one that jumps out most to me is Naomi Watt. It's still very hard to say with any clarity what any of the castings or roles will be from the little information we have. We also have Josh Whitehouse cast in the lead role as well. And it's also been confirmed that Marcus Rodriguez, John Sim, Richard McCabe, John Heffernan and Dixie Egerick have been cast as series regulars. I'm not exactly sure the distinction they're making here between lead and series regulars. I guess in the main show you would say a lead would be Danny, John, people like that. And then series regulars would be more people like maybe Cersei. They're not necessarily lead main characters, but regular appearing on the show. Naomi Aki, Denise Gao, Sheila Atim. Ivano Jeremiah, Georgie Henley, Alex Sharp, Toby Regbo, Jamie Campbell Bauer, and Miranda Richardson have also been cast. However, it's really hard to know the extent of their roles at this time, as we know so little. The show will also be filming in a wide array of locations, with Northern Ireland returning and used as the production hub, but confirmed locations so far include the Canary Islands and Italy. Thus far, they've done a really good job at keeping the plot under wraps, and we really know very little at this time. But recently, as the filming of the pilot has begun, more set photos have appeared on Twitter. For most of these, it's really hard to gain much information, but a picture posted on Twitter of Naomi Watson costume in Italy has sparked some ideas of who I think she might be playing. The basis of this idea actually formed in the comment section of my first Blood Moon video. Looking at Watson's costume and general look, I think she may be playing a member of the Castleys, the original lords of Castley Rock. And I think we'll see how Lan stole the rock from them as I think there's a lot more to it than people think, and the link between the Castleys and Lan might be closer than we think. I'm making a video on this idea soon. In the same match of leaks, we've seen a new version of the Stark banner, which indicates that we will see them in the show, but in what form this is, is unknown. It may be Bran the Builder, or someone closely related to him. Something to think about here is much of what we know about the Age of Heroes and the Long Night is legend. Even the Maces can't agree if it was 10,000 years ago or 5,000. So the timeline of events is muddy and it's possible a lot of different brands throughout history could be the same person and it just got muddled up over the time. So it's going to be interesting to see how the Starks are handled and if Winterfell will make an appearance. As I always assumed it was built by Bran after the Long Night, but I guess the vagueness and the idea of legend gives a lot of scope for the show to do its own thing without causing too many problems. However, I do wonder how much George has been involved and how much of this new information we learn from the show will be canon to the books or if we even ever find out. I do intend to make update videos as new solid information comes out, but I'm not going to do a lot of other channels do where every single picture that comes out, every single tweet, every single interview, I'm not going to go sit there and make a 10 minute video on it. If some key information comes out, if there's some information that I think is worth discussing and that we can actually learn something from, then I will make an update video on that. It'll be kind of more of a bonus video from my weekly videos because these take a lot less time to write and edit. But I would be really keen to hear your ideas and speculation on things such as location and who people might be cast as. So leave a comment and if you want to keep up to date, subscribe.